Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. It's wonderful to have you and it'd be amazing to have you back here always by subscribing, clicking the bell, and turning to all notifications for updates. Today's video is a Q&A video and I'm gonna be answering all your questions that you comment in the comparison video ko between Maybelline Lash Lift Mascara and Hyper Curl Mascara. So I don't wanna keep the intro long, so if you wanna know the answers to your questions, then keep on watching. Alright, so let's start and I'm gonna read all your questions from my laptop and nandito siya sa unahan ko. So let's start with a very light question lang. Sabi ni Cyrus Lu, how was your life during this quarantine? Honestly, okay lang kasi marami rin akong realizations and meron din akong natutunang skill like cooking. And just the plain fact na nandito lang ako sa bahay so I have more time for myself. Watch all the Netflix series that I've been wanting to see. And of course, yung makapagpahinga, yun talaga. But at the same time, not okay rin kasi syempre nakakamiss rin lumabas, go to places. Pero ayun nga, given this situation, hindi pa talaga pwede. Next question. So sabi naman ni Riza Bautista, what's your biggest realization this quarantine po? Siguro I should have spent more time with my loved ones. Kasi sa ngayon, it's hard to see them lalo na kung hindi kayo magkasama. Next question is from Sarah Borlongan. Most memorable moment in your life? Uh, I think it would be yung time na pumasa ako sa let. Yung talaga super memorable nun sa akin. And until now, habang nire-recall ko yung nangyari nun, kinikilig pa rin ako na very emotional. Kasi during that time, mag-isa lang ako dito sa bahay namin. Tapos biglang nag-text yung friend ko, si Julia. Hi, Julia! Tapos, sabi niya, out na daw yung let passers results. So, ako, kinabahan ako. Tapos, chinek ko nga. Siyempre, nakakakaba talagang hanapin yung name mo. What if wala ka dun? Tapos, ayun na nakita ko yung name ko, super tuwang-tuwa ako. Kaso, wala pala akong load nun, kaya hindi ko ma-share yung good news kay mama, kay papa. So, hindi ko alam kung paano ko i-contain yung emotions ko. Kasi super emotional talaga ako that time. Siyempre, let yon Licensure examination for teachers. So, mahalaga talaga yon And I think yun talaga yung memorable moment in my life. Okay, next question is from Cassie Tatlong Z. Sabi niya, what is your greatest insecurity and how do you handle them? It's really frustrating that I have too many insecurities and I don't know how to handle them all. Ako talaga ang biggest insecurity ko is yung body ko kasi ever since talagang malaki yung structure ko kasi ever since nung baby ako malaki talaga akong pinanganak kaya siguro ang laki ko rin and growing up sorry for the word pero mataba talaga ako since nung grade 3 ako hanggat sa naging high school tapos nung high school na conscious na ako kaya nag-join ako sa varsity team and nagkaroon naman ng improvement sa body ko pumayat naman ako pero nung nag-college ako kasi tumigil na ako sa varsity team yun tumaba na naman. Hanggat sa nag-work na ako, ayun, mataba na. And actually, ang hirap talaga. Kaya I feel you if you have the same insecurity sa body. Siyempre, unang-una, ayan yung nakikita ng tao, ba diba, Pag naglalakad ka, ayan na mapapansin talaga nila yung body. And ayun, what I did to handle that insecurity, siyempre, I have to make some improvements. And with those improvements, dapat merong sacrifices. So, I started working out and nagustuhan ko naman siya. And until now, nag-workout pa rin ako. And I think, yun talaga yung biggest achievement achievement ko in my life. Talagang very continuous yung experience ko when it comes to fitness and I will never regret the day na nag-start ako mag-workout. Pero yun lang naman yung sa akin. So external lang siya. Pero if your insecurities are something internal, just remember you are a great person and you are you. Next question. Ito, pareho sila ng question from Beat Cruz and Chris Thel Cruz. Pareho yung question nila is about my thoughts on how the government is handling the pandemic right now. Um, I don't want to sound all too knowing. Hindi ko naman sasabihin na alam na alam ko talaga yan. Pero what I can say is sana lang and I'm praying that they focus on the things that really need attention and focus on the people who really need support. Next question is from Maria April. What is your goal in life and who's your motivation to achieve that goal? Uh, actually, pag tinatanong ako kung ano talaga yung goal ko, ang lagi kong sinasagot is happiness talaga, lifetime happiness. Ayoko talagang tumanda ng maraming problema, yung maraming iniisip. Gusto ko talaga habang tumatanda ako and hanggang tumanda ako, happy pa rin ako. Yung motivation ko, of course, my family, my loved ones, yun naman. Gusto ko happy rin sila. Alright, next question. Actually, questions kasi marami siyang nilagay dito from Janice. Number one, sabi niya, my 
time ba na naisip mong mag-stop sa pag-vlog? Ngayon, na-experience ko na nahihirapan talaga ako with my work schedule and of course, ito yung pagiging YouTuber or YouTube content creator. Pero hindi ko pa naman naiisip na mag-stop kasi syempre, ngayon pa lang ako parang nagsisimula talaga. So, ayoko naman mag-stop and na-enjoy ko naman din siya kasi it's always been something that I wanna do. Kaya, hindi. Hindi ko pa naisip mag-quit sa pag-vlog and hopefully, hindi naman. Number two, sabi niya, how old are you when you started vlogging? Uh, chinek ko yung video ko noong unang-unang-una pa. That was here 2017, so around 21 years old lang ako. And ngayon, 24 years old na ako. Pero back then, hindi naman ako talaga active sa pag-upload. Number three, what is your favorite makeup and skincare brand? Favorite skincare? Uh, siguro masasabi ko, Lux Organics. Yun talaga, mostly ng mga skincare items ko. Either Lux Organics and Fresh. Siguro pareho. Yung dalawang yun. Tapos, makeup brand? Parang wala. Basta maganda yung quality. Affordable siya. Go, bet yan. Alright, next is from Andre. Sabi niya, do you ever consider taking makeup classes? Gusto ko. Gusto ko siya. Pero hindi ko alam kung paano. Pero last time si Ate Rai, Riza Contawi, nagkaroon siya ng stay at home makeup workshop sa channel niya. So, ayun. Inatinan ko talaga yun from session 1 until session Seven. Kaya, in a way, parang nag-take na rin ako ng makeup classes. Kaya, kudos to Ate Rai. Kasi super bait niya. Talagang in-explain niya bit by bit lahat ng information na kailangan nating malaman sa makeup, sa basics. Next is from Andrea Martinez. Hi, Andrea! Sabi niya, what is your greatest achievement as of now? Um, bukod sa progress from working out, siguro yung being able to talk with all of you. Lahat ng mga nagko-comment dito. Kahit sa Instagram ko, nag-DM kayo. Ayun, parang achievement yun sa akin kasi never in my life na naisip ko na makakapag-interact ako or communicate with other people that I don't even really know na hindi ko pa naman nakita so ayun thankful ako doon and I consider that as an achievement and of course yung ma-inspire kayo ayan achievement ko rin yun next one is from Jelly Vlog sabi niya what made you decide to start your own YouTube channel actually yung YouTube channel ko for fun lang talaga siya at first kasi ang naging inspiration ko to start my YouTube channel is Kathleen Lies. So, she is a foreign YouTuber. And super gusto ko kasi yung personality niya. Ayun, kaya parang na-inspire ako mag-start ng YouTube channel. And yung YouTube channel niya kasi is all about makeup and I love makeup din. Kaya ayun. Next one is from Nix C. How do you handle stress during this quarantine? Um, siguro I talk to Carl. Si Carl talaga yung stress reliever ko. Ayun, siguro talk to somebody. Tapos, i-explain nyo or i-out nyo yung feelings nyo. That really helps a lot para ma-release yung stress. Pero huwag nyo naman i-stressin yung kausap nyo. Ayun. Moving on from Ma'am Jocelyn. Hello po. Sabi niya, what are the three makeup products that you cannot live without? Siguro, Kilay and Multi-Use Tint. So, kahit dalawa nga lang kasi yung multi-use tint, pwede mo na yung gamitin sa eyes, sa cheese, sa lips. So, ayun. Next one is from Trishy Gion. How much po is your monthly salary as a YouTuber? Oh my gosh! Um, to be honest, yes, nag earn na po ako, pero sa YouTube kasi yung ma-earn yung money, depende yan sa views. So, kapag ka mataas yung views, syempre tumataas yung ma-earn mo money. Pero kapag ka bumaba yung views mo, bababa rin siya. So, estimation lang naman yung revenue nyo. Sa akin, super small lang talaga, 4 digits pa lang. So, ayun lang yung masasabi ko. Next one is from Pauline Paez. Holy Grail na perfume or scent ko. Lately kasi nahihilig po ko sa mga pabango. Ah, uh, siguro yung Bulgari Amethyst. Super favorite talaga. Ang lakas makamayaman and fresh noon. And pag naglalakad ka, talagang maaamoy ka nung taong dinaanan mo. Kasi ganun siya kabango. Next one is from Catherine Jane. What is your greatest fear and what do you do to overcome it? Ako, siguro yung deep sadness lang talaga and the idea of being alone. Yung talaga yung fear ko and of course, losing people. Ayoko nang ganun. Kahit nga, anything, basta anything na mawala sa akin, like mata yung halaman, yung mga ganun, yung very simple lang. Sa sad talaga ako. Kaya, how do I overcome it? Siguro yung mga ganung bagay, like namatay yung halaman, syempre, you have to get over it. Pero yung mga malala alam talagang fears like losing somebody talagang tao or idea of being alone I pray about it talaga kayo nakakalm naman yung self ko the next 
day and for the next morning. Parang refresh ako kasi alam ko, I prayed about it and God will hear it. Sunod naman is from Stephanie Lat. Hello Stephanie! Sabi niya, what cosmetic brands have you always wanted to try but still haven't? I think um, international brand, yung Stila, yung talaga gusto kong itry, lalo na yung yung shimmer-shimmer nila sa mata. Gusto, gusto ko itry yun, pero hindi ko pa na siya try. Then, from Eloisa Grace Nohara, workout and diet tips. Uh, siguro gagawa na lang ako ng separate video on this, like workout tips, diet tips, and even my weight loss journey. Pinaplano ko na yan, so stay tuned. Next one is from Sheena Sil Baladhai. What are your other interests aside from vlogging and working out? Uh, I like to play guitar and make music. Ayan, I have several songs that I have composed, pero syempre, for myself lang yon or for people na sinulatan ko ng kantang yon. yun pa lang, sila pala yung nakakarine. Next one is an interesting question from Smile, or Smile, Poblete. How to become a better adult? Any tips po? Ah, uh, ayan, mahirap talaga when you are adulting, pero ang masasuggest ko talaga sa inyo, you have to build your routine or start building your routine kasi habang tumatanda ka, mas marami kang kailangang gawin and kailangan marunong ka mag-prioritize din. Ayun, learn your priorities and build your routine. Next one is from Yel de la Sierra. What is your favorite family vacation? Siguro yung latest na vacation namin, which is in the US, noong December to January. Ayun, kami yung pumunta doon sa parents namin. So, ayun, favorite so far. Ito naman from Maricar Sabelio. Teacher po ba kayo? DepEd na po ba kayo? Uh, I'm a teacher, hindi po ako part ng DepEd, so teacher po ako, grade school teacher. Next one is from Ajad, Ajade. Sorry if na may mispronounce ko, Valdez. Sabi niya, how you spend or how do you spend your whole day, especially this time of pandemic? Uh, ngayon kasi, nag-start na yung work from home namin. Kaya super busy na rin. Pero before this, oh, wala lang, super chill. Like watching Netflix, ayun lang. Pero ngayon, super busy na talaga. Halos wala na akong time manood na YouTube. Kaya hindi na rin ako masyado nakakapag-reply sa comments nyo. I'm super sorry. Pero pag nagkaka-time talaga ako, I make it sure na ma-replyan kayo kahit pa isa, isa So ngayon, work, work, work lang talaga. Next one is from Infinity Love. Sabi niya, ilang taon ka na po ate. 24 years old na po ako. Next one is from Shane Pauline Masangkay. What is your greatest investment as a 24-year-old woman? When it comes to myself, yung investment ko ay yung, yung talaga, yung time for working out. Kasi ang iniisip ko talaga, gusto ko pagtanda ko, malakas pa rin ako, nakakain ko pa yung mga pwede kong kainin. Ayoko naman ng pagtanda ko, ma-deprive na ako kasi bawal na ako sa ganyan, bawal na ako sa ganito, and mahirapan na ako, hindi na ako makalakad ng maayos. So, I I really invest on myself, on my body, para in the long run, diba, you won't have problems and you have more time to enjoy and to do all the things you wanna do. Sabi naman ni Rakisa Alimona, ano po natapos nyo na course? I just wonder kasi galing nyo po talaga magsalita. Fluent and clear. Uh, I finished Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in English. Yon, yung po ang course ko, teacher po ako. Next one is from Michelle Serio. Hello, Michelle. Sabi niya, how do you balance your work schedule and being a YouTuber? Honestly, super hirap, lalo ngayon. Parang kulang na kulang yung time ko. And dalawang beses na ako nag upload every week. Kaya, I really have to plan ahead. Ayun, I have to plan ahead and film ahead. Kaso, ang namimiss ko is yung editing. Kasi wala akong time mag-edit. As in, super pagod na ako. Siyempre, buong araw nag-work ako. Nakatapat ako sa screen, laptop screen. Tapos, gabi, parang hindi na kaya ng mata ko. Super sakit na niya. Sakit na rin ang ulo ko. Kaya, medyo nade-delay yung editing. Pero, ayun, filming ahead and planning ahead. Uh, so, work schedule naman, nag-note talaga ako sa phone ko yung kailangan kong mga gawin para wala akong ma-miss out. Ayun, mahirap kasi kapag kami mga backlogs or may nakalimutan kang gawin. Ayun. Sabi naman ni Andrea Okfemia, tama ba? What do you prefer at the Wendy? Local products or international? Why? Uh, Siyempre, local ako dito tayo sa atin. Kasi mas affordable sila. And okay rin naman yung quality. In fairness, ha, sa mga local brands natin ngayon, nagko-compete sila and pumapantay sila halos sa quality ng mga international makeup products. So, very good yun. 
Ito, second to the last question na, what is your favorite everyday lipstick at Wendy? Question siya ni Marielle Salvador. Hello, Marielle. Ah, ngayon, super in love ako dun sa Happy Skin na Fresh Brew. Yung pinakita ko sa inyo sa 5-minute makeup challenge ko. Ayun, super favorite kin so far. Alright, so we are down to our last question and that is from Tia Abizo. Most embarrassing moment nung high school or college? Talagang sinayip ko tong question na to sa huli. Uh, siguro nung college na lang and I think yung college friends and classmates ko naaalala pa rin to pero super embarrassing pero ikukwento ko sa inyo. As in, parang may nakain ako na hindi naging okay sa chan ko. Tapos sumakit talaga yung chan ko. Eh, meron kaming long quiz noon. Eh, yung klase ko noon parang 6 to 8 p.m. yata. Tapos Super sakit ng chan ko. Hindi ko talaga kayang tiisin. Eh, hindi kasi ako sanay mag-CR. Alam niyo, mag-CR sa public toilet. Naalala ko, tumawag pa ako nun kay mama. Sabi ko, mama, super sakit ng chan ko. Parang hindi ko kakayanin. Eh, yung school ko nung college ako sa Lipa. And nakatira ako dito sa Kalamba. So, super layo, ba Kung titiisin ko pa, eh, may klase pa nga ako. So, oh, grabe. Super embarrassing nun. Kahit yung teacher namin. Yung teacher namin kasi nang super cool lang din. And natatawa-tawa lang din siya sa akin. And yung mga classmates ko, natatawa lang din sa akin. Tapos sinuturoan nila ako ng mga pwedeng gawin para daw makontra yung sakit ng chan. And nang ginawa ko nun, nag-CR na talaga ako. And sinamahan pa ako ng classmate ko. Hindi ko alam kung nanonood siya. Pero, super nakakahiya. Pero, <laughs> anyway, ayun. That's that. So that is it for our Q&A for today's video. Sana na enjoy nyo and pasensya na if yung mga ibang questions hindi ko na nasagot like pertaining to my skincare routine, paano i-achieve yung glass skin. Siguro on another video na lang yon or another videos para naman ma-explain ko sa inyo na maayos. And yung other questions, pareho lang din naman ng iba kaya hindi ko na na-mention yung iba. So I'm very sorry. Pero if you're interested on having another part for this Q&A, please let me know. I hope you liked today's video and if you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Check me out on my socials at Instagram, I'm WendyXTN and Twitter at WendyRoman. And before clicking out, I post new videos every Friday and Sunday so make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified. Thank you loves for watching, I'll talk to you soon. Love, WendyXTN.